working with rational, irrational, reciprocal, and real numbers. Hi students, in this module you will learn how to identify the rational, irrational, reciprocal, and real numbers. Let's begin with the rational and irrational numbers. What is the first thought that comes to your mind when you think of the word irrational? When I think of the word irrational, I think about a lack of adherence to a general pattern. For example, pi, which can be rounded to 3.14 to two decimal places, does not follow a general pattern. In fact, the value of pi has an infinite number of decimals and is aptly recognized as a non-terminating decimal that never ends. This is quite the opposite to the natural numbers, one, two, three, and so on, that follow a clear general pattern, increasing by one each time. In a mathematical context, an irrational number is a number that cannot be expressed as a fraction. For example, the square root of two and pi have a value that goes on for a never ending number of decimal places. Why not pause the video and using the calculator, see if you can find some more irrational numbers. Well done students. Hopefully you've come up with another irrational number, the square root of 10. Let's talk rationally about the rational numbers. A rational number is any number that can be written as a fraction where both the numerator and denominators are integers and the denominator cannot equal zero. We can represent this algebraically as P divided by Q, where P represents an integer and Q is a non-zero number. Why not pause the video and write down some examples of some common rational numbers? Well done students, I'm sure you may have come up with some common fractions like one half, one third and a quarter. It's important to note that all integers, i.e. non-fractional whole numbers that can be positive, negative or zero, can be rewritten as fractions with a common denominator of one. Examples include two over one, 3 over 1, 4 over 1, or minus 3 over 1. This is useful to know for division problems. For example, Gemma wants to divide a large three-piece pizza into thirds for a group of friends. Why not pause the video and think about how she could represent this problem using natural numbers. Well done students, I'm sure you may have realized that this problem can be set out as follows. Three over one divided by one third. If you struggle with dividing fractions, be sure to watch my rap video on dividing fractions using keep flip change. KFC is the acronym in which dividing fractions is factored in So if you want to divide a fraction, you got a KFC And I'm not talking whiz and drumsticks It's just a fancy trick to divide fractions with Where you keep the first fraction and then you flip the second fraction Check, check, chain, divide to a time sign And then it's time for action With the numerators times numerators Over denominators times denominators That, that, that my friend, is KFC Just a fancy trick to divide fractions with But if you are pressed for time I will show you how to divide the three pizza slices into thirds visually here. Hopefully you would have seen from the calculation on the board that Gemma can divide a three slice pizza into thirds into nine slices. So far 
During our discussion on rational numbers, we have inadvertently touched upon the reciprocals of 2, 3 and 4. So what are the reciprocal numbers? A reciprocal is quite simply defined as the inverse of a real number as shown visually on the board. We will talk more in depth about the real numbers later in the video, but for now, understand that a real number is simply every possible type of number we could think of, from a fraction to an integer to a decimal. Okay, let's get back to reciprocal numbers. We saw previously that a reciprocal number is defined as the inverse of a real number. We can summarize this algebraically as 1 over n, where n represents a real number. The reciprocal of n is therefore 1 over n. Therefore, the reciprocals of 2, 3 and 4 are 1 half, 1 third and 1 quarter respectively. Since 3 fifths is an example of a real number, it also has a reciprocal which we can represent as 1 over 3 fifths. This is of course quite a messy way to leave our answer. It is always better to present a simplified value when presenting numerical data. So we can represent it as 1 over 1 divided by 3 fifths. Knowledge of dividing fractions can help you to simplify even further. As mentioned previously, in your exams, you will be expected to solve a division problem such as 1 over 1 divided by 3 fifths using keep flip change. I would definitely encourage you to listen to my bars on keep flip change if you have time. But if not, I will show you the steps here. So here we see the reciprocal of 3 fifths is 5 thirds. Why not pause the video and find the reciprocal of the real number 2 thirds, which is also a rational number. Well done for your efforts students. I'm sure some of you would have realized that to find the reciprocal of a fraction quickly, we could just flip the fraction to get our answer. The reciprocal of 2 thirds is therefore 3 halves, as shown here. Okay, back to rational numbers. Rational numbers can be represented as terminating decimals. For example, one half can be represented as the decimal 0 0.5. Rational numbers can also be represented as non-terminating decimals, where the decimal goes on forever. For example, two thirds has repeating digits as shown here. This moves our discussion back to the real numbers. So what are the real numbers? The real numbers are quite simply a large family made up of rational and irrational numbers. Or more simply put, absolutely every number we could quite possibly think of. Real numbers are based on the concept of the number line with positive numbers located to the right of zero and negative numbers to the left of zero. Any number that can be plotted on this number line is a real number. Excellent work today, students. I really hope you've enjoyed this lesson. In this module, we have delved into the true definitions of a variety of numbers, including the rational numbers, irrational numbers, reciprocal numbers, and the real numbers. Welcome to the world of numbers. This is an ABBA Academy Scripts production. Don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe for more IGCSE Maths content. For online group IGCSE Maths Tuition, don't forget to visit www.abbaacademytuition.com.